down here at Waimea Bay, we're, we're uh, really well known for having very large, powerful, dangerous shore break. So when the big sets come in from the point here, all the water flushes into the bay and it creates a very powerful rip tide. So it's a famous rip and um, lots of people have gotten in trouble um, because of the conditions here over the years. And more people got into trouble the day before the Eddie Aikau surf contest happened. Yesterday was a very sketchy situation. We had lots of surfers going out and, and testing their skills out here at Waimea Bay and uh, we had a couple surfers get injured and a few surfers needed to be brought in at the end of the day. Additional lifeguards were needed for the contest. They remained on standby patrolling the beach and the ocean. Waimea Bay ever since. Lifeguards prepared for the worst but felt confident in the safety of the contestants. So anytime a surfer puts himself in that kind of conditions with a surf this extreme it's going to be dangerous but uh, rest assured Quicksilver has provided some of the best water patrol available in the world right now. But Waimea got the best of the best surfers. Seasoned veterans like Tom Carroll got hurt the day before. The huge surf brought huge crowds. More than 15,000 people showed up to see the first in five years celebration. Gotta move your car, these people can't get to work. Police monitored the safety on land as vehicles flooded the roads for miles. I want a toy in business too. But I wish I could, you know, tow most of the cars. I'd be making some money today. No serious injuries occurred on the day of the contest, but paramedics still ready themselves for any possible emergency. And with the combined efforts of lifeguards, police, and paramedics, the Eddy proved to be the spectacle long awaited by millions worldwide. Reporting from Waimea, this is Alyssa Navares. This is America.